hello creatives you're welcome back to my youtube channel again this is david gladness and on this particular video i'm going to be showing you on how you can create this ripple effect making use of just your smartphone okay so as you can see so i've been coming across this type of effect on um facebook i've been seeing it on some people's design but then as you can see i pass the message across to my youtube community if they are going to need the tutorial but it turns out that a very good number of them are actually interested they were interested in the video tutorial just like you can see right here so i'm going to be showing you the simple method by which you can actually create this making use of just your smartphone all right so without further ado let's proceed with the video tutorial all right creative so for the sake of this particular video we are going to be using this particular flyer now one thing you have to know is that for you to be able to create something like the ones i showed you in the video introduction you must have designed the main flyer first you must have designed the main flyer making use of any software right now that particular effect is called the ripple effect just like what you are seeing right uh, you can see the effect that was being used on this particular text right but then this is actually a texture effect now the one i showed you earlier is the ripple effect now let's quickly save up our design i'll just click on save as image and i'll click on save to gallery now the app we are going to be using is called the pix arts it is called the pix arts app all right so um you can go to your play store or your app store to download the app this is it right here as you can see this is what the app looks like right here so i am going to be providing you with the pro version of the app i am using right this particular app i am going to be providing you with the pro version of the app you can check the description box it will lead you to where you can get the pro version but please note that only android users will be having access to this particular pro version because iphone is not going to allow you to install the um the pro version that will be provided it is an apk format which is not going to work for iphone users so i'm just going to open my pix app real quick so when you open your app for the first time you are going to come across something like this right so as i've said earlier i am using the pro version of this app if you need this particular pro version i'm using as well you can check this particular video description box it will lead you to where you can get the pro version of the app so i'll just tap on this place you are seeing plus right here make sure you are tapping on plus then it will take you to your gallery just make sure you locate that particular flyer you just saved look at it right here so you can click on see all to select it's going to take you to your gallery and you can select the particular this thing you want to use but then i'll just be selecting this one i just saved recently now to use the ripple effect is very very simple just scroll scroll to where you're going to see something like max look at it right here click on this place you're seeing max then when you click on max look at it we have different type of ripple effects but then look at this place make sure you scroll and click on this place you are seeing ripple there are different type of effects right but then we are working with this particular ripple now if you are not using the pro version of this particular app you are likely going to see something like a crown this thing you can see as for me everything is unlocked all the effects here is unlocked and i can use whichever one i feel like using but then in your own case if you are not using the pro version of the pix art you might be seeing something like a crown icon before you'll be able to use this particular stuff right so just select the one you feel like using is that simple just select the one that works best for you now when you select the one you feel like using you can now go ahead like edit it if you want you can then go ahead to edit it if you want it is very very simple to use as you can see you can see the way they are appearing right so you can decide to like adjust it you can decide to adjust it in a way that you will just tap on it and reduce the transparency let's say for example i want to work with um let me look at the one that i can work with here let me check for the best you can just scroll through please is not you, you just don't use this effect anyhow you don't use it anyhow in fact i would not advise you this is for this type, type of flyer i'm doing right now so i'll be showing you on how you can as well adjust it to make sure it is not too much because in some cases it is just going to be too much for the type of design you are trying to create all right so you can actually reduce the opacity let's just say i want to use this one for an example now just tap on this middle icon these buttons you are seeing at the middle of this then when you tap on it okay when you tap on it you can easily look at the, the type of um this thing here normal screen we have overlay we have multiple we have darken depending on the type you actually want to use so when you select the type of um this thing that you feel like using let's say for example i want to use overlay i can just reduce the transparency 
you can see that i can just reduce the transparency like the opacity right if you want to use screen you can reduce the opacity as well if you want to use normal you can just reduce the opacity right so just check for the one that works best for you you can as well rotate like you can see that right you can rotate it you can you can reset the the um the way it is being positioned by using these icons you are seeing here and this is for the opacity so once you are done once you are done you can select the type of um this thing that works best with you and once you are just done with whichever one you feel like using let's say i want to use screen or let's just say overlay right so once you are done you can just tap on this mark icon and once you are done with that mark icon you can now save it to your gallery by tapping on this icon you are seeing right here is the save icon and just wait for it to be done and as you can see save as jpg save as png and whatever format i'll just click on save the quality please make sure this quality is in 100 then click on save click on save as you can see save to your photo gallery now if i should go to my gallery i'll look i'll be able to see the um the flyer we just edited so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video tutorial please if you are finding it helpful do well to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe see you on the next one